Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in my previous a few videos, YouTube videos, I have uh, introduced how you can use the Power Virtual Agent to connect to your Dynamic 365 customer site and uh, generally lead to your CRM. So uh, I have been asked like uh, if there's a capability for the, because the virtual agent is just a boat uh, which uh, use the topics you already configured to talk with the visitors on your website or the mobile apps or the other channels. So I have been asked if it has a capability to transfer the customer request to a live uh, representative, to a live agent, a person who can talk with the customer. Yes, it does have that capability. So uh, you can config configure the topics for the virtual agent and uh, then at the end of the topic then you can transfer the call to a live agent or you can transfer it to a URL which connect to your company's ticketing system for the customer to create a ticket to your, com to your company's CRM system or ticketing system. So in this video I just want to have a brief overview of how that works. So you can see uh, I'm still on the virtual, a Power Virtual Agent uh, site, that tenant, and I can go to my settings and I can say transfer to agent. When I click on this, then it has an option says Dynamic 365 Omni Channel for Customer Service. So this will require an additional license for the Omni Channel, which means you can uh, talk with your customer through like online and uh, through uh, different channels. Omni channel means different channels. And then at the end, then it reach to your Dynamic 365 customer service. So it will require an additional license for this for the Dynamic 365 Omni channel. Mm, okay, so let's see if you click on this, then you have to uh, have consent for the privacy statement and click on next, then you have to enter the virtual agent's application ID. So it tells you how to get that. So you have to go to your Azure app registration. Then you have to create a Azure app registration for this Power Virtual Agent. And then you copy that ID, then return to this page and paste it here. So I do not want to create that because uh, I'm not a global admin and I don't want to cause any trouble to uh, our global admin and create something, uh, create a mess for our company in Azure. So, but that's the step you have to follow to do it. And uh, if you don't want to go through this way, then there's also another way for you to hand out, for you to hand out the virtual agent to uh, to your ticketing system, what you have to do, you have to go to your topics and then uh, you go to your, uh, so for example, I have an existing topic, this one, I can go to the go to uh, author, I can go to the authoring, okay, let's wait for it to load, okay, so then at the, at the, uh, so once you have a condition, if you have a condition, your topic, so at the end, I like at the end of this condition, then you can click on the plus sign to add a note. Then, uh, for example, I click on this, then uh, you can click on, so if it's the last step, then you will have the option to select the escalate. So then you can add a escalate at the end, which means, uh, it will transfer you to a URL. So let's see what is my trigger uh, point. Okay, so uh, let's see what's the best product for me. Okay, let's uh, just simulate this conversation right now. Okay. Okay, so I'm a home user. And shall I add this? Yes. Then at this point, it, it meet this condition. So then it will use this escalation, okay? Because I added a node and uh, I selected the escalation as the action. So then, so usually uh, when you configure this escalation topics, 
from here, then you have to provide a URL then to bring the customer to your ticketing system. Then the customer can create a ticket there. Yeah, so these are the two ways to hand off the virtual agent to a live uh, agent. And uh, I hope this helps. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube video. And uh, just another uh, thing I want to mention because our company, EC Advance, has been acquired by uh, the US uh, Microsoft partner Archer Point. So I will change my contact information to the Archer Point email uh, in the description of my YouTube video later on. So you will see like uh, if you have additional questions or you want to have a Dynamic 365 implementation, you're interested in the Power Platform implementation, then you can just uh, send me an email and my email will be changed from jessew at ecadvance.com to j1 at archerpoint.com. I will leave it in the description. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope to see you guys again next time.